Hi guys, today is Saturday, October the 9th, and I don't know if you're like me, but I have a hair drawer. It is a drawer that I have hair products in, and some of them I use, some of them I don't, some of them I use sometimes, some of them I don't want to throw them out even though I don't use them. So I thought I'd go through my drawer and see what I have in it. Now I have a uh, one of those plastic, um, it's kind of tall. It's a, a thing like I get at Walmart. It has those open drawers. I don't know what you call those things. Um, but that's what I have right here. That's what my cats are always sitting on, like a flipper here, when I got, I'm doing my videos. And I have my makeup in it and stuff like that. But that's where I have my hair stuff. So the only thing, only hair stuff I have sitting out right now is my hairspray, which is Tresemme uh, Extra Hold Hairspray number four. And um, I don't, other than shampoo and stuff, I don't have any other hair stuff out. So let me bend down and first thing I have picked out and this stuff looks used because I have used it. So it's not fancy or nothing. So is my Enjoy Dry Wax. As you can see, I have used this. <laughs> this has gotten me through this bad haircut. If I did not have this, I don't know what I would have done. I used it today and the days that I don't use it, I wished I would have used it. So it's called Enjoy Dry Wax Firm Flexible Hold. Um, I bought it off Amazon. I think it was $27. It looks like the smell is weird, but it looks like this. And as you can tell, I have used it. It's hard to get out of this. When I first bought this and I went to use it, it was like, it's like putty, but it was really hard. I mean, I could not even get my finger to scrape it up. It was like that when I first bought it. It's still hard to get out, but it's not like it was before. I just, uh, as you could tell, I don't know if you could tell, but I take my finger and I go around and I get quite a bit on my finger. I rub it in really well and to me it feels hot it feels warm when i rub it in i even rub it through my fingers like this because when i put it through my hair i think it goes better that way it gives me a lot of volume and it also lets me like if i want to pull my bangs down i can pull them down and it and i will it will still look like i i've curled them um yeah, this has been a godsend. It's, it's expensive. It's lasted me. I've had it for about a, oh, I think I got it before I had the bad haircut. So it, I might have had it like, a, it's been four weeks, almost five since my bad haircut. So I've probably had it two months maybe. So um, even these, now my hair did not look turn out very good today I don't know why I think it's in a weird stage right now but this stuff right here I cannot curl it it is still I don't know if you can see it's flat it is still too short I can't get anything around it so when I have this on my hands I will like take it take that and flatten it and it, it will pretty much stay yeah I have to hairspray it but it stays now one thing I will say about this if you use a ton of hairspray like I do, I mean, I use a ton of hairspray. Using this makes my hairspray not stay or stick, I guess, to my hair as well as if I wouldn't use it. I've got to spray the heck out of my hair for it to stay like I want it. When I use my other hair products, that doesn't happen. And I don't know if it's because it's a wax kind of, and it's maybe slick. Well, it's not slick. I want to say slick, but it's it's got a different kind of texture to it. I don't know. But that is one thing about this. So, um, 
this is the i guess i would say the newest hair product i have bought i used to buy hair products like crazy but you know they are expensive and i've had so many and i've tried them and i wasted my money because i didn't like them so you know what i do i do what you guys are doing i go on youtube and i look up stuff for fine flat hair or you know that kind of stuff that's how actually that's how i found this and um i watched the tutorials on it with other people giving their opinions and stuff like that so that's what i do so there's one next pulled out um sexy hair big root plump pump plus that's hard to say um I think I tried this like a long time ago, but I wasn't impressed with it until I got my bad haircut. When I got my bad haircut, this plus this has gotten me through my haircut. I use this today. It's about half empty. Um, I don't always like this nozzle. To me, it's hard to push. I don't know. I have wimpy arms, maybe. I don't know. But it's hard to push. So I will sh really shake this stuff up like crazy. And it comes out kind of, it's not a mousse, but it's kind of white, like a foamy kind of thing. And um, sometimes I'll just spray it in my hand and I'll rub it together and just, I put it everywhere, all over my whole head. And it has gotten, gotten me through trying to get these sides where they were just so flat so I can stick them out a little bit. Now today, I don't know what's wrong with my hair. I don't know if it's humid out. Um, it's supposed to rain tomorrow night, so maybe that's, I don't know. But this says humidity resistant is what it says. So, and it's a big, it's a big bottle. I don't say bottle, but 10 ounces. So it's pretty big. Now I have bought one at Walmart because Walmart has them and it's really about the same price as the salon. And guess what? After I had bought that one, the person that gave me the bad short haircut, <laughs> I got two. He suggest, they suggested this too. So I actually have two. Um, this is also humidity resistant, it says. I guess there's two forms of this stuff. But so this is about, I just, it, this just happens to be the first one in my drawer. So that's why it's more empty than the other one. Okay. Next, and this one didn't even have a lid. Redken Guts 10. You could tell I've used this. Um, this comes out kind of like this. Not, it's a little different, but it comes out the same. I like this smell. It has a really clean smell. This stuff smells like those erasers like you used to have in school and they were like like a beigey brown looking eraser that when you used it, it just kind of crumbled. That's what this smells like. It's not a pleasant smell. It's not a stinky smell. It's just kind of an odd smell. This, uh, this stuff smells, it smells good. Uh, this smells good too. Um, I've used this, last time I used this with the short haircut, I didn't like the result. And I don't know if it's just because I can't curl it like I normally do. But I've, I've used this off and on. It makes my hair shiny. It gives it texture and volume. And I, I haven't used, you know, I'm not using it now because of my haircut. So when it grows out, that might change. Okay, next is Redken Stay High 18. And um, it's a high hole gel to mousse. And you really got to shake this up. And when you, this is almost this much left. And when you put it in your hand, it comes out looking like a light kind of a gel. And then you put your hands like this and it kind of turns into foamy kind of. It's not big foamy like a mousse is, but it's kind of a foamy. I used this quite a bit when I had my old hair. I'll go, but I'll go that way. My old hair. If you see my videos, you know what my hair look like. So 
I've used this quite a bit. It does, it smells clean, smelling. It does give you volume and a little bit of texture, not texture like this. This is like the ultimate. Okay, next, I thought I would splurge. So I went on Amazon, as probably a year ago, and I got the Orbe Super Shine Light Moisturizing Cream. And you could tell it's been used. This stuff was like 50 bucks. Expensive. This stuff was like $16. Um, I don't know what, I don't remember how much this was. And this actually has a price tag on it. $17.79. I looked on YouTube at this stuff and people were raving about it. And maybe my hair's not like their hair. Fine, thin, flat. My hair has nothing. This stuff, I ha it smells amazing. It's kind of perfumey, but a very clean scent. It's kind of white. I have to barely touch it on my hand and rub it in because this stuff will make my hair a grease ball. I still use it, but very tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Um, is it worth 50 bucks? No, forget it. It is not worth 50 bucks. Does it make your hair super shiny? No, but when I had my old hair, and if I wanted to use a hair product like this, which uh, was, is really texturizing type, and I didn't want it so much like that, I would use this, and it would kind of mute it a little bit. I guess if you want nice smelling hair, you can use this, but yeah, I, I use it every once in a while. Okay, this stuff, and I don't know how to say that word, but it's thickening and texturizing mousse. Uh, instant volume, fullness, and body strengthens hair, protects against breakage. It's, it's like water in here, and you shake it up a lot, and it comes out like a real thin mousse. And I got this on Sephora. I don't know how much it is, but it does thicken your hair. I have tried using this with this short haircut and it doesn't do me any good. With my old hair, I would use it off and on. It, it was okay. I wanna say this is over $20, but I don't actually remember. This is something I just keep around because I don't wanna throw it out. Because I may get my old hair back and I may wanna use it. Same with the guts. I may wanna use it. I hate to throw that stuff out. I know you spend all this money and it's expensive, but I don't know. Okay, sexy hair, hot, sexy hair. It is called Prep Me 450 degree heat protection blow dry primer. At one point when I had my old hair, my hair was getting frizzy and my hair is never frizzy, ever. It's frizzy now because I have such tiny little pieces of hair that I can't, I can't do anything with it. But my hairstylist suggested I get this. Um, there's no price tag, but I wanna say it's like $16 to protect my hair, sorry, when I blow dry it and when I curl it. Um, this is probably used to up to here. It, no, it smells like, you know, it's, it's okay smell. I don't use very much of it. I have used it with this hair. It doesn't help me any. But my old hair, I use it off and on. Um, I don't, do I think it protects with the heat? No. Do I throw it out? No. So I still keep it. I might throw this out. I really don't use it. Threw it out. Okay. Southern Bell Volumizing Mousse by Dry Bar. Yes, I used the heck out of this when I had my old hair. It's like down to here. This stuff lasts forever. This stuff will last me over a year or more. You don't need much at all. 
when I had my old hair, I used this all the time almost, pretty much all the time. It gives me volume, it doesn't leave it sticky or heavy. It is a very lightweight mousse, but yet it works. And it's, I want to say it's 27 on Sephora. But um, I do not throw this out because hopefully when I have old, my hair back, I can use this again. I do like this a lot. It, it smells good. That I will not throw that out. Okay, what else do I got in here? Oh, okay. You know, this is almost out. So I went to order another one on Sephora and I must have ordered the wrong thing because I got this. Southern Bell Volume Boosting Root Lifter by Dry Bar. It's got a spray thing. This is not this. This is full. And actually, I think I'm going to do a clean out and I'm going to throw this out. This does nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, I've sprayed it on my hair. I've sprayed it in my hand. It smells great. Perfumey, really smelling. But it does absolutely nothing. It is not volume boosting, at least for me. Okay. Next, Living Proof Amp. Before short haircut or bad haircut, I live on this. I love this stuff. Now with the short haircut, it doesn't help me because I just don't have enough hair, I think, to, for some of this stuff to help me. This is a light hold uh, texture volumizer. What I do with this stuff, and it's the same concept as this. This worked with my old hair. This works with my crappy haircut. Same, same thing. What I do is I, of course, you know, dry my hair and stuff, and I curl it with my curling iron, and I will put both of these in my hand. This takes a very, very tiny amount. This will last you over a year. This stuff, you, you has directions with it. It comes with a direction packet. Read the directions. When I first tried this, I did not read the directions and it did not work for me. Then I went on YouTube and saw some reviews and they said, read the directions. It's white, very light, light scent. It takes a very tiny amount of this stuff. Rub it in till it's like you can't feel it. And then put your hands through your hair. Same thing how I use this. Whoop. But this stuff is amazing. I was, I've gotten it for like $14, $16, $17 Amazon. I've got it on eBay. Love it. Hopefully, I can get back to it someday when I have hair. We'll not throw that out. Okay, what else we got here? Oop, this don't even have a top. Well, I guess that tells you what I'm going to be doing with it. And how long it's been since I've used it. Redken Full Frame 07 Volume Mousse. I have had this like a long time ago. I think I got this at Beauty Brands when they had a sale. I can't tell you how much it was, but as soon as I bought it, I had dropped it. And where's the top? Do I have the top even? Yep. Oh, because I've tried to tried to use it. There's the top. The top broke off of it right when it was brand new, and I have shook it up and put the top on and tried to use it. I'm not thrilled with it, as you can tell. It's going in the trash. Okay. Next thing is... This is icky. Okay. Big Sexy Hair Powder Play. Love, 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 love this stuff. Actually, I have two. Just because I don't want to run out. This tag says 1629. 
Um, is it worth the price? Yes, 10 times over. What this is, 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 is they call it a volumizing and texturizing powder. Don't really have a smell. And it is a very fine, fine powder. What I do is I curl my hair. No, actually, back up. I haven't used it for a while because of my short hair. Um, bef okay, after I, hair after I dry it with a hair dryer, I will sprinkle this. And I will move my hair and sprinkle it like this. And it takes a little bit. And I will move to get through the roots and stuff. I will do it all over my head. Volume, texture. If you have fine hair that that is like flat, that does nothing, you need this stuff. You will love it. Okay, what is this? Okay. Oh, this must have got in there somehow. It says Moroccan oil, some kind of body body serum. Oh, I don't know what that's doing in there. I've never used it. Okay. Uh, Moroccan oil. Moroccan oil treatment. Does this smell amazing? Yes. This smells amazing. Have I used this? I don't know why it's down to here. This stuff does nothing. I don't even know why I have it in here. I guess I must have forgot. This oil to fine flat hair is a big mistake it does absolutely nothing in fact i think i got this free with some kind of moroccan oil thing i used to use moroccan oil um shampoo and at one time it did real good by me but then i don't know what happened it just quit doing my hair good it just quit and i haven't bought it since okay what is this? Moroccan oil thickening lotion for volume. I don't have the top on it. I don't know how much it is. I have used this. It smells amazing. Um, does it give you volume? No. It's heavy and it, uh, I've not used it since I've had sh the bad haircut. I would use this if I didn't want tight my hair tight I will keep it you take you just use a barely minimum amount and it does smell good and it makes my hair shiny and um, I think if I used it with the short haircut it wouldn't do me good but um, with my old hair I did like this like I said if I didn't want my hair really tight I would use this okay what do we got Ooh. There's that one I showed you before. Okay, this looks like a sample thing. This one's really icky. Uh, Moroccan oil. In fact, I can't even read it. What's that say? Style of oh, styling. Some of that styling cream. Hydration for all hair types. I did start using this. I must have got a sample of it or something. I did start using this when uh, I did have my old hair. I liked it. I really liked it. I would buy a full thing of this, but with my old hair, I'm throwing it out. I'm not going to use it with this hair. It, it wouldn't do nothing. Okay, what's this? Oh, my hair lady for Christmas last year gave me a sample of the Big Root Pump. Now, this is Big Root Pump Plus. This, I don't, I've never used it. It's, I'm not, I'm going to throw it out. It's full. So I know I'm not going to use it. And you know what? All I have left in there is a lid. So that is what was in my hair drawer. And there is a big difference between my old hair and this hair. Because I can't do what I did with my old hair. Has it grown out a lot since I got the bad haircut? Yeah. I mean... Like I said, it did not look good today. Hopefully tomorrow I can do something with it. Yes. Yeah. But anyway, it's this right here now. Used to be I could not get this. Now I can't do anything with this. And then, I don't know if you can see back here, I have little pieces. This is all 
barely, barely there. I cannot curl it back there. I'm still dealing with it. So, um, I did get it uh, highlighted last Tuesday, last Monday and trimmed. She barely trimmed it just to kind of clean it up a little bit, but I still have issues. So that is my hair drawer and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I helped anybody that has fine, thin, flat hair like me. Um, I have to work with my hair. I do it every single day. I wash it every day and I curl it with my curling irons, which let me show you. This is a Revlon curling iron. Yeah, it looks like crap, but I use it. I think this is a three fourth inch and this is a half inch. So that's what I curl my hair with. So, um, well, I do it every single day. I get a lot of compliments, even though it's super short. Um, I do get compliments on it. So, yeah, I work at it. It's, it's hard. Do I get tired of it? Yeah. I stand here and I have an extension cord that I plug in my curling irons into. And um, so by the time, if I have a good hair day and I don't have to work too much on it, by the time I I wash my hair, I dry it, I do my makeup, and then I uh, curl my hair, fix it and all that, it's a good hour. If I have a bad hair day, it's over an hour. So some days with this short hair, I have a good day and some days I have a bad day. This morning, it I just did what I did. I knew it wasn't gonna look that great when I was curling it, so. I didn't really go too many places today, so it's no big deal, but um, that's a deal with my hair. So, okay, now you know what's in my hair drawer. I did get rid of some stuff, which I don't use. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions for me, what you use and helps you with your hair, I would really greatly like the advice. If you could leave me some comments and let me know what helps you guys. Um, I mean, I do get it pretty, pretty tall. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna move my camera a minute. Here's my pick I use. I don't do anything with this part, but I do use this all the time. And where's my other one? He's sitting, he's sitting on it. I use this. This is what I, the two things that I use with my hair. So thanks for watching. Give me some advice. Leave some comments about what you guys use. And um, I'd like to give it a try. So um, that's all I got. No glasses. We were hoping to get a text today to run up and get, get our new glasses. But they're not in. So might be next week. So that's all I have. Thanks a lot for watching.